Hello everyone, welcome in to True Random Nightmare Settings. No, it's just True Random. We're playing Classic Fixed Risk Global Domination. We're anonymous from Germany. I'm not really German. Plot twist. But, we're the purple player, and we're playing with True Random Dice. Oh, and I'm an idiot and I didn't put alliances on. Oh no! This is bad. This is all bad, and I don't want Australia. So, blizzards, we got Middle East and two unimportant ones. I didn't put alliances on. Why? I said I'd never forget that again, and I forgot that. Okay, um, I need a card. The worst part is I don't want to add troops into Australia because people are going to fight for it. But at the same time, I can't take a card off a one anywhere else. There's nowhere that there's a one. This is disgusting. Okay, so, uh, M M Mr. Cuffy and C Cockerel, welcome in, guys. Thank you for the follows. Uh, we're playing World Domination on the map Classic, playing fixed cards. I went hard AI that attacks, 90 second turn timers. We have true random dice, blizzards are on, and I forgot to put alliances on. So, essentially, just Classic fixed with blizzards and true random dice. Which is going to cause a lot of problems for people. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, I like white spawn for Africa. I don't think he likes yellow moving down. I guess yellow wants in here. So as long as he lets yellow get in here, yellow's going to go for South America. White's probably going to go for in here. Green knocks my two out and he's going to move into Europe. I like that. Okay, so he's conceding at Australia to me. I can add to this and come in. And I can start working unless, yep, blue's going to go for North America. People are going to let me hold Australia? I guess we get to play as Australian Turtle this game. Usually I'll go for one of the big plus fives. Because people don't, people usually fight for Australia or South America. Usually I'll go for one of these. I don't have to right now. Maybe I just add to the four and move this four over. Leave it like that for now. Provided I actually get a card off a of four on one. Could try this four on one also. Is he gonna roll a five? No. Okay. Brings those together. Or brings the five eight down. Red gets six. So nobody's contesting Australia. I got lucky there. I got lucky that Green didn't put in here and be like, let's go to war for Australia. Cause I know that would uh not having a lucky day so far. Canadian Kilted only likes dudes. German Kilted likes men. Oh my god. All this homoerotica in the chat. So now red's right here in the middle, kind of posturing with yellow. The last time I played True Random and I had an Australia spawn, that game's on YouTube yet. No, it's not out. It'll be out by the time this video comes out, if this is a video. I lost a six on two and my game was over. Well, we had a good game after that still, but... Yeah. Not taking Australia with a 7 on 2. I'll try a 10 on 2. See if that can do it. By the way, is Danny here? He was in one of the games I hosted the other day. Oh. I don't know. Danny struggles to get in during the weekdays. I know he has Fridays off, but he's going to start working Friday. So he's pretty much going to be here mostly only on weekends. But uh, sometimes he lurks when he can. I like it when they concede Australia and then they get angry when you take it. Yeah, that's the worst. It's like, here, you can have that bonus. Never mind, I want it now that I have a trade. What's up, Hanny? I haven't seen you in a few days. I know I haven't streamed in a few days, but nice to see you, man. With all the impact from YouTube, I'm getting a lot less no os, no win player. Yeah. Uh, playing a lot of Classic Fixed on YouTube, and then there's Champ Forever and Olive and uh, even Pete's Fixed Fridays and Risky Phil and Mallory plays some Classic Fixed. I feel like people that play now, most people that play regularly probably watch some YouTube videos and have increased their skill levels. So the full-blown craziness has died down a bit, and I've noticed a bit of a meta shift where people are playing more passive in Classic Fixed, which is why I'm trying to shift once again into a bit more aggression. If you can leave my threes, hit the five and I'll get out. No alliances, man. No alliances. 
Thank you for the raid, Speedster. I appreciate it, man. I didn't see you in chat, but hopefully your stream was good. I have returned, Father! Real life had some work shit, but away for work. So sitting in a hotel chilling. Right on. So you and I are in your hotel room together, Hanny? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, there's definitely still people that go full ham for, for Australia. Definitely happens. Good game, good game, Victor. I, I He hit a one, and he's trying to get out of Green's way. I don't understand the victory, war, die, whatever. Did he lose an 11 on two? Oh, that's what I missed. Ontario to Greenland. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is... Yeah, so true random dice. Uh, Blue's game is now over. Uh, a 10 on two. I'm about to try a 10 on two. Let's see how I do. What's up, uh, Yule Close? If that's how that's pronounced. Um, welcome in, sir. I'm essentially your cuck from porn watching. Nice. Yeah, slow roll it after seeing that. Kind of, kind of want to slow roll it. Yeah. Or, or we just go big D. Big D, right? Blue's probably the one that's going to be weak and botting out. Green's going to knock this out. And then I'll get the kill on blue. All right. It's not going to happen to me. It didn't happen to me. Or cucks to cucks. I think I have two artillery, though. Yeah. No trade yet. Time for a perfect roll. Ow. Okay. So my new goal is we need to kill blue. Obviously, blue's not no longer over here. Green is at some point going to knock all of this out. And if blue doesn't have a trade soon, I'm going to be able to go ping, ping, pong, and he's dead. Leave my threes here, make green struggle a little bit more to take this bonus. I don't want him to get it quick. I will probably slow roll this too. I don't want a 13 on two. Uh, lose that. I've heard tale of a 27 on two being lost. I've seen a screenshot of a 15 on one losing. So if a 15 on one can lose, I mean. That was in the last Chaos Tournament, one of the early rounds. Somebody lost a 15 on one in true random. Yeah, yellow and red are going to continuously fight for South America, it looks like. And here's the other thing. Blue died in here. North America is now available. Do, do either of them cave? Obviously, yellow's not, but does red cave and go for North America instead? Oh, he lost two on that. Kind of want... Yeah, I want the blue four to hit this and lose a bunch of troops. I want it to fail, and then I want to blitz it and knock him out of Europe. Make these into one stack. I'm going to come out. Leave a one there. Nice. Really want to kill blue. Yeah. Yeah. Now white is he's got all the troops in here, but there's so much confrontation between uh red and yellow. He can't really get this because they can't really get over here. So he's just adding up here and taking a card for now. Green's losing a lot of troops trying to take all the stuff in here. It's really hurting him. I think I'm just going to add here and come out one. I'm going to leave the threes. I want him to really hate life. It is my goal. What's red going to do? Is red going to roll that? Or is red going to vacate and try for North America? I lost 10 on a 14. Oh, you roll the 14 on one and then lost 10. on. Yeah, I remember that one. Jed, I was in that game. Yeah. You rolled the 14 on one and lost 10 or something. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Uh, we're playing fixed, classic fixed. Yo, Granddaddy Purple, thank you for uh, the 100 bits, man. I appreciate it. Good morning to you. 
I do like True Random, as it makes it feel more like the board game, but I vastly prefer Balance Blitz now that I've experienced it. It is nice to have some type of consistent, consistent, little consistency. Uh, the more you increase your skill in something, you want it to be consistent so your skill can edge, right? But um, sometimes it's fun to just let loose in a true random setting. We get a cavalry. Big trade on four. If blue doesn't trade, I'm killing him. Or I'm going to try to kill him. It's true random, so you never know. I would love green to just pop the four. I would love to be in alliance with you and ask you to hit the four. Maybe blue adds three here and then rolls the four on one and then green trades on three and wipes this and then then I just have to do this. Uh, red doubled down and now yellow's tripled down. This is, this is, okay, so these guys have lost. Red and yellow have essentially, are, or they're going to lose. These stacks are gonna hit each other as soon as one of these guys trades. If red trades on three, he's hitting. If yellow trades on four, he's hitting, I'm pretty sure. They're doing it on the trade. Okay, so I, I attempt to kill blue. How many troops should I put up to kill the three and the one? Five? Eight on three? Nine on three? Six? Make it nine on three? On one, and then fortify into the three? Down, down, over? And then I go up, in? Trade? Block this, fortify in. Leave my stack here. Green can kind of do this, and I'll get my stack out next turn. There's a lot of fast talk, and we'll see if it works. Ukraine or Middle East? Uh, well, Middle East is a blizzard. We'll trade this. Oh, well. Yeah, he sees it. I lost four on a one, but then I lost four on a ten. Oh my god. So it's an artillery trade with cyan. Okay. Bring my five over here. Now I have a dude trade. Red didn't trade yellow trades and punches in here? No, he doesn't have a trade on four? Is he going to come up? Come up. Yeah, really screw green over. You really want Europe, don't you, bro? I'm sorry. I've got 20 troops more than you. Cards are not worth it? They turned out okay. It also, like, even if I go net neutral or lose a little bit or profit only a little bit, it, it gets somebody out of the game, does progress the game. So even, like, I will make kills even if they're slightly minus EV just to progress the game. As long as I'm not putting myself in a spot where, like, I'm vulnerable. Like, I'm pretty secure in my position right now. Technically, I could come up with the 10 and start working on North America. Yeah, Green's not taking the bone. He's got five cards. Do I want Europe and kill Green? I mean, I put five on here. Boom, boom. Smack. Boom, 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 boom. Or boom, 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 boom. It's tight. It's tight. But I would double trade and I might not have to use a dude trade then. Like maybe he's got the cards to give me a double trade of good stuff. Oh my God, white's going in. He got tired of not having Africa. Uh, I wish this 10 was back, but I wanted to fortify this over. I probably should have just brought the 10 down. I would have been able to kill green. Oh, yep, here we go. I might kill yellow then. No, he's leaving. Wow. Good for him. I was pretty certain this was going to happen. That would have been a nice free kill on yellow. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, if I make this a 7, 6, or 5 into the 2... And then what? 14, 13, ah. Is 
It's way too risky. Okay. I really wanted to make that kill, but it's true random. In balance blitz, I would have probably done it. True random, it probably fails. Trade and go. Well, the problem is I wanted to not trade because I didn't want to trade three dudes. And if he had two cavalry and two artillery, I would have got two big trades as opposed to a little trade. So it would have been very profitable to try to pull it off. But in true random, like, if I fail that, my game's sunk. And there's probably a better than 50% chance I fail it just because it's true random. So yellow gets South America. Now red's in a single stack North America. Still weak. Green's trading. Putting in North America. He's going to do bring this stack out, I guess. That was worthless because that was only a two. Going to do the sweep. Give me a turn to get my five out, probably. I'll come up and then bring it in. Yeah, he's going to chill. He doesn't want a really bad roll. I'm leading in troops and cards, and I've got the one kill. But it's going to be harder to push the game forward with no alliances and being the Australian guy. I could look at Asia. Asia would be a one, two, three point guard if I could get it. Could you imagine? I mean, like, red's not going to let that happen, and green's not going to let that happen. But if I could get it... Odds on me going for Ukraine and... Cam okay, Ukraine and Kamchatka would be a two-point guard on Asia. You're right. But, like, I feel like I would have to let green hold Europe. Or I'm getting suicide. I do not want to get suicided. Uh, hit the seven and lose everything? Big dick? No, you don't have big dick. You've been playing very passive... Yeah, you've been playing chill, chill. Okay. Hmm. Big trade. <clears throat> Does not matter. Big trade. Can use the plus two in Alberta if I don't get my four popped. I just like pop, pop, ping, pong, ping, ping, fortify up, take Asia, guard it with a bunch of tens, and then have true random dice make my tens impenetrable, impenetrable. 1919, they're being friendly. At some point, I'm going to want yellow to be card blocked. Green needs to take this, and then I need to take yellow out of here. For now, I don't want to trap my stack, though, so I'm not hitting this yet. Take white at uh, Asia before he adds. Well, he's still got North America for now. I also don't want to take white out of somewhere until green takes Europe. I want green to have Europe. So white's trapped behind him and this blizzard. And then I don't mind picking a fight with white. I kind of want to pick fights with people that can't retaliate on me. It's in general a reasonably good idea. White's or yellow's in here now. Huh. I'm going to hit this white one next, though. That is my next card. Oh, my God. It is so tempting to just go big dick. I'm going to have so many troops. I could leave a 20 here. Is green going to trade on four and then roll into my whatever? I could have more than a 20 here. I could have like a 30 here. But then red might come in here. Oh, I want Asia so bad. If they let me hold Asia, that'd be just sickening. So white trades. Hopefully doesn't add to this one. The Asia turtle strat? Well, I, I, it gifted me Asia. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Good. Red and white are going to fight a bit in here. Red's never going to get North America at this point. The yellow four here kind of guarding coming out is nice, too. I'm going to knock... I'll probably knock red and white out of here. I'll try to roll both of those. What? 
Is that laggy? We saw that roll happen. Green and red are playing the same game. No, I don't think they're collab. Oh, no, yeah. I don't see any kind of collab or anything. Like, I hosted this lobby. Uh, okay, so did... Oh, white's a bot. That's really bad for green. Red's trading. Stay out of my Asia. Hmm. Take my Alberta plus two. I want it. I want it. I want it. Not do it, pussy. <laughs> Not yet. <clears throat> I don't want to make an enemy yet. I don't need Asia. I'm in the biggest position. Right now, as long as I don't have an enemy, I'm already winning. And I'm in a position where I can probably... I just... I don't like the 30... Red is coming in 100%. I roll this four, I could lose 10 troops, and then red's coming into me. <laughs> and now I don't have to hit a four. This is so ballsy. If white is still a bot, to let this happen... Yeah, come in. There we go. He's got no trade. Please go left. Please go left. Oh! Yellow just got bamboozled. If red hits that and backs off... If Red could trap his stack in a way that doesn't have access out... Oh my god. I'm seeing it. I can block this with like two fives and Green can't get through. Because he only gets three troops on his turn. No trade. Like, I could have like a three, a three, and then I can bring the 28 to here. Don't even think about it. Yo, what? Hits my six, loses only one? I don't have a trade on four. You guys wanted it. You wanted it. Let's go. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. If Red's going to suicide, he's going to suicide. I still am in an okay position, maybe. Red can get a card here without going suicide. I went for a big dick play. I can't believe... If he, if he only lost one on my six... Only lost one on it. He's gonna... What? Okay, he still doesn't have the bonus. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. He didn't like what I did here. <laughs> he didn't like it. No. Yeah, yellow's still getting crushed. If I can hold it for one turn, cool. If red suicides right now, I guess cool. 
I'm going to back off after that one hold, though. If red doesn't break me, I will back off after one hold. With this. I don't need green doing anything funky. I hope to God this succeeds and he gets a card. Fortify? <laughs> 14 troops, bro. Uh Does White have a trade? No. We double down, and I have a big trade. I have a big trade. Let's go. Be my friend, Green. You've been such a chicken in taking your own bonus. Are you going to be a big balls man coming into my bonus? Take your bonus. That's the play I like. I mean, he could hit a 15 and lose everything. I also have a big trade. And if he hits the 15 and takes this, I can kill him with my 31 stack and my trade. For four cards, presumably. Red's, like, lined up to kill yellow. Or white. Whatever. Red, red to me, would have to go 2, 2, 2, 5, 1, 10. So, I mean, he could break me. But his game's over. He's got a trade on three. And he's stacking here. Yeah. Fist bump. We're friends. You take your bonus. I don't need to break you. <laughs> Fortify. Bring your 38 back. Oh my god. I can just big boy stack here. Leave a couple tens. <laughs> this game! Oh my god. This game. Stop it. Stop opening red up to me. Oh, come on. Come on, Kevin. Kevin McAllister from Home Alone? What's red gonna do? You told me that they let me hold Asia? He might take Australia right now. Lost eight. Okay. Didn't like that, huh? Doesn't open my stack up. Interesting. Hmm. Siberia or Japan? I think Siberia I've got... No, Japan. That's good. Let's go Japan. Wild card, another big trade. If you don't trade on four, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. Don't fuck all me, sir. I can't. I'll send cry. <laughs> Yellow's so close to dead. I'll double kill red and yellow right now. If red doesn't trade. If red doesn't trade, I'm double killing. Good. White can break this. White's going to break this. I don't even have to break you. Kevin McAllister is going to give it to you rough style, dude. The 15's coming up. You better believe it. 15's coming up. Do 
This four needs to come over because I need red to run away from me. He needs to run. I, I, I need... Good. He needs a pathway to run from me so I don't have to kill him. If he didn't have a pathway to run, he might see no way out and he might suicide me. But I want my attacker's advantage. What are you going to do, Dan? I'm just trying to play a good game of Risk here and you're screwing up my plants. Should have card skip? Nah. I didn't need to, like, green hold all that. No trade! No trade! <laughs> oh, he lost three and one. Keep going, keep going. No? Suck it, Dan. Get out of my bonuses. Um, did I kill you too? If I kill you too, what's my advantage over green? Pretty good. I should lose. You just traded all my cavalry. Now I've got dudes. This sucks. Got an artillery trade, at least. Why couldn't I just have a big trade? Why'd I have to kill him and get dudes? Stack it? I wasn't going to roll the 15. He can roll my 37 if he wants. I'm going to follow whatever he does. Go ahead, roll white. Lose 12. Oh my god, that roll! He lost nothing on a five. You broke my bonus. And now you're going over here? Interesting. Okay. I can retake and probably two-point guard. And then he has to come through whatever white leaves. I can see. I can see. What's he going to do to me? Nothing. I barely even have to guard up here. He'd have to go through a lot of white, which would just be super beneficial for me. Guard this with a five and then big stack here. Yeah. Okay. Northwest Territory. Make this a uh, seven. Do this. <laughs> Look, he wants to break my bonus, he has to go through a 12, a 2, a 1, a 1, a 1, 1, 1, 7, and a 1. By the time he goes through this many troops, including the bot's troops, it's just he's got nothing. And I can follow his... Yeah. And I can follow his stack and kill him. If he is... If he was a smart player, his plan would be to feed me white. <laughs> if he fed me white, he would get second place. But he's not feeding me white. I could choose to give him second anyways. For kind of being a chill passive guy in Europe. He didn't break me when I was on fives. He didn't get super aggressive with me. <clears throat> I mean, I don't owe him anything. But I don't like... I don't dislike him. Yeah, he did hit a bunch of White's troops. But that's because... I don't know why, actually. Like, he should fully just feed me white, 100%. But he's saving up for his trade to maybe attack me? I don't know. White doesn't have a trade. So I can just leave this as a 10. Because what's he going to do with this? Just hit this? Is he even going to take these out or is he going to hit me? I have a weird feeling he's just going to hit me.
I'm just, yeah, I'm, we're just ending the game. I don't owe him, I, like, in my head, I'm like, maybe I should try to give him second. He's lining up to trade and hit me, and, like, I'd have to go out of my way, really, to give him second, and I don't see the point, honestly. So we're just not going to do it. This didn't seem worthwhile. What are those flakes on Norway, Arabia, and Argentina? Um, they are blizzards. So essentially, they they chop off the map. It's inaccessible for this game. You have to go around the blizzard. That's all it is. So they can actually block entryways. Like, you can get a blizzard in North, North Africa, and you can't get through. Um, there, there's a lot of neat ways that blizzards uh, change the game dynamics. Like, for example, this game... I got to hold Asia because of this blizzard. Nobody could come through Middle East to break it. So I got to hold it. It was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Somebody somewhere wants me to give Green second, but I just... He could have taken second and he didn't. So it's, it's his own fault. Let's check the ranks out. That was a great game. We got to hold Asia and Australia. <laughs> Well, I think he was waiting till he had a trade, Carter. I don't know. In his position, I would have fully suicided White and then gave me White kill for free. And then he got second for sure. So we have a beginner, beginner, intermediate, novice, and a beginner. Okay, so lower to middle skill level uh, range for the group here. Um, green was a beginner. So like, if he ends up watching this game or learning more in the future, in his position when he's already lost, kill the White bot. Or put everything you have into the white bot so I can kill it super easily. And then I still get my first. It looked like he was just trying to hang on with a stack. Hoping I'd get a really bad true random roll on the bot. And then he would be able to fight me. So if he's still trying to get first when it's clear I've already won. Then I'm just going to kill him first so he's not a threat. Because I knew the bot was easy enough to kill. Uh, if you're joining from YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Welcome to Let's Hold Asia and Everything, and it's all mine, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.